Obviously, you've been hosting a ton of mm-hmm. charity events over the years. Why do you think it's important for people to attend charity events, do charity, or incorporate charity into their businesses? Well, here's the first thing. Let's go back to what we were just talking about before. I like going to Model Citizen Fund and Babes in Toyland. Uh, I like going to those events because I like to have friends that aren't psychopaths. And I have a theory that if you are a person who's like literal, I'm talking about literal antisocial personality disorder, those type of people aren't going to keep going to charity events. They're going to go once, they're going to go twice, and then afterwards, they're going to be like, I'm not getting anything out of this. Like, there's no, what, where's what's in it for me? So, sociopaths, narcissists, people with borderline personality disorder, histrionics, or Machiavellian people, those people want something for nothing. They want to be, val- they want to be verified, or val- they want to be validated, they want to be um, adulated as much as they can, and they want to do as little work as possible. Charity events are the opposite. What do I do at charity events? I give, 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 give. That's what I do. And so when I started surrounding myself with people who were involved with charity, I just found myself about a, a group around a group of better human beings. Does that make sense? That's the first thing. I'm going to say, as far as networking is concerned, you're going to find better people to meet, date, hire, work for if you just spend your social life instead of, instead of doing cocaine in the VIP, instead of doing that, going to a charity and helping raise money or you know give toys for kids. I just think that's a better way to live your life. Uh, additionally, what happens is, and Cole Hatter is such a great you know example of this, uh, make, make, make uh, money matter is the, the concept of like when you just do things for other people and ask for nothing in return, I just, I, me and Dan can only express this to you, but until you experience it, it won't make any sense. When you do things for people and ask for nothing in return, just this work, I can't even, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a science guy, but I can't explain it scientifically. You just do this and then everything just fucking works out. I don't know how to explain it. You always make rent. Your company 4Xs every year or 10Xs every year. People want to network with you. Just imagine this concept. Here's the other reason why, is when you when you work with charities, you feel gratitude because you are helping people who are less fortunate and you see what they're going through. Imagine if, like anyone who's watching this right now, imagine if I could just do a little spell on you and this spell made it so that more people wanted to work with you, you were more attractive, you were better at thinking, and you made more money and um, you just had a more peaceful content life what if i could just lulu just give you that spell there is a spell it's called gratitude if you just have gratitude you just get all those things but you have an ego that was developed through two hundred thousand years of evolution to make you not feel gratitude the charity thing brings you back to gratitude when you see i remember i used to work at a soup kitchen i'll never forget this one guy comes up and he's just like he smells so bad and his eyeball is missing i can see all the way to the back of his eyeball and it just stuck with me and i started i was my first day there and i started volunteering every week because of this and started getting involved with all these charities if you've ever seen an animal suffer by the way, animal rescue is a cheat code. Everyone will come to animal rescue. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, man or woman. Animal rescue is a cheat code. If you if you guys want a charity to start that's super easy, that's the one. Um, but you do animal rescue stuff and you just see an animal suffering and you just consider it suffering. And like how much, I, I don't know if you guys seen on TikTok, these, these uh, TikTok uh, accounts where they rescue animals off the street and then they bring them back to health and they get like 10 million likes a video. They're crazy how popular this stuff is. And so that that's the other reason why. And there's a part of humanity where we're different from different uh, from other mammals, where we have empathy for our kin, right? And that empathy that we have is goes back to what I said before: groups of men working together in order to accomplish a goal. If you, uh, I, I remember this uh, one interview that uh, Kevin Gar- uh, Kevin Garnett gave, where he was like. If I turn around and my teammate's in a fight, I'm jumping in with him. For sure. I don't know what we're fighting about, right. but I, you better know I'm about to rock with you. Yes. Now, when we get back to the locker room, I'm going to ask you, like, yo, bro, what the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah. But that level of empathy, you're on my team and I want to protect you and help you, that's a very c- core key um, uh, attribute of the homo sapien male. And so what I think is, is that w- when we get involved with charity, we're taking care of our kind. We're taking care of our team right? The human kind, or we're taking care of animals that we care about when it comes to like things like, uh, autism speaks or it comes to things like cancer research or whatever. If you've had a family member that's ever had one of those things, then you're, you're much more attuned to it and you're much more willing to help. And, and, uh, you know, uh, Chloe Ture, she has a brother who has autism. And so she works with uh, autism charities often because of that. Why is it? Because she's trying to protect her tribe. She's trying to do things for her tribe. So those are the reasons why I think being involved with charity, it gives you gratitude. You're surrounded just by better human beings 
right? Uh, and it, it just it just grounds you and it, it, it helps you protect it, uh, the understanding of protecting your tribe. I just think it's also a great way uh, for networking. Like obviously I, I wouldn't know you if it wasn't for charity. I wouldn't know half these people if it wasn't for charity. In some form or fashion, it was a charity that introduced me to almost every person that I know that's successful. So I, that's why I think it, you, you know that's probably the best thing to do. And let me tell you one other thing, and I, you probably agree with me on this. I don't give a if somebody donates a million dollars to a charity because it was a tax write-off and because he wanted to feel good about himself and he doesn't give a about the charity. We will take the money. I don't give a f As long as the kids get the toys, exactly. I do not care if you're doing this to make yourself feel better or not. As like, I think people need to not worry so much about the whole concept of you're only doing this because you want people to see that you're giving. I don't give a sh the money still helps the children with cystic fibrosis. The money is still for cancer research. As long as the kids with the cancer get the research money, and as long as the kids get the toys, and as long as the animals get rescued, I don't care where the money comes from or what your intent is, and neither should you if you're involved in this.